Hey guys, welcome back again to this another tutorial. It's your boy Chops Burns as usual. Uh, this is an living channel where we talk about business and business tips. So if you're new to this channel, kindly consider subscribing, turning on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on updates on our new videos. So this channel is for you whereby we post a lot of content and we do answer a lot of questions from our viewers yes so in case you have any question you want to know any research you want to make about any particular business always consider dropping it in the comment section down below yes that's it guys so today i'm here back again with another video but guys before i kick in starting the video uh starting on the topic i just want to say thank you guys uh thank you for you guys who have subscribed and I want to thank you everyone who is watching this video. So today I'll be topic uh, I'll be talking about an amazing topic. Yes, I'll be talking about an amazing topic. So this one is a daycare. Have you heard of a daycare? Have you heard of a business of babysitting? Yes, this is the kind of business I want to talk about today. So this one is a cool business. It's a very good business. Yes, think about it in case you had uh, uh, you had thoughts, uh, you had ideas, or you had a plan, a goal of starting up a daycare or a babysitting. Uh, this is a video for you. So just kindly sit down, relax, get a piece of paper, get a pen, then write down some of these things because you'll need them. Yes, you'll need them. So this video is for you guys. So I'll be talking about the care. Yes, we are going to see what it takes, what's really needed about a daycare. So what is a daycare in particular? So first of all, let's know what is a daycare. So this is a place whereby uh, people bring in parents or whoever brings in their child uh, to be looked after for a given amount of time. It can be means. Yes, it can be means. It can be hours, it can be days, but not exceeding weeks like that so a daycare is uh, whereby uh, children are brought in children the young ones to be looked after uh, for a given period of time guys yes as you know nowadays many people are doing hustle many people are in the hustle many people have work and most are working overtimes others are working like night shifts so uh, people really need a place where to leave their children for a given amount of time, things like that. So here that's where the idea of a daycare comes in. So are you that kind of person who has that soft heart, who is willing to take care of kids? So this is the business you need to venture into. So if you are that person with, uh, with the other dirty heart, please don't consider this business because this is all about children, these young innocent people, these young innocent souls. So these ones really need, they really need some good care. They really need to be looked after. So they need a person with a patient heart. You know how children, children, they don't know anything. Children are learning and others are very young. So when you are considering starting up a daycare, first of all, what you need to know is you have to be having a plan. A plan is a must. You have to sit down, draft a plan. How many children will you be attending to? How many children will you be receiving? From which age will be uh, from which age? Uh, starting from where will you be receiving those children? So. This is all about a daycare business. So first of all, what we need to know here, uh, that's a plan. And another thing, uh, I'll, I'll talk about more about the plan. So another thing here you need to put in consideration is you need an urban area. You need a populated area. You need, uh, you need a, a place where there are very many people. Uh, don't go in slums. Uh, don't go in villages because the the number of people will be little yeah who can go for uh daycare services so look for an urban area look for places in towns or around towns like that so places with more people places with uh fixed uh uh 
places with more people in particular so look for those areas so here you'll be in need of parents yes make sure you get a place where where you can get those parents who can bring in their children yeah so i uh, still i'll add on the plan after get uh, after having your plan uh the plan will give you what to do it will give you what to start with uh how many kids you'll be handling uh then it also it will also give you on the light like the fees the charges you can like you can apply to each kid depending on uh depending on the amount of time you will spend with that particular kid like that so you have to consider all those ones so these ones will be under your plan so how much will you charge per hour yeah most uh sometimes you can charge maybe 1000 per hour or half an hour 500 shillings so that's good amount of money yes imagine if you have seven kids around or seven children around so how much money is that one if you multiply so it's a really good business as we shall be seeing what it needs uh the things you need to start up how to handle it all that one so far we've seen the plan you need to be having a plan then another thing which you've seen uh, so far is the location get a location a good location so and on location you have to get a, a good to access area so please guys uh, don't consider starting a daycare uh, the house is somewhere like here then someone has to walk like a kilometer to reach you there is no mayor uh, there is no road the place is not clear so make sure make sure if you've got somewhere let it be having a good location fine uh if you find that uh, the location is a bit far maybe you can also arrange for pickups if you have people they can call you that at this time and this time come pick up this child things like that arrange for pickups so all that one is on the location like that so arrange whereby you can be accessed very well at any time at any moment so consider all those ones so make sure you have a good location then we shall go for the room the house so the house you can get any house as long as it is more than three bedrooms even two bedrooms you can start with that one uh, because what you'll feel in that house it's not a lot guys only that you have to be careful you have to be extra careful how you arrange that place so first of all you'll need those mini beds those mini beds you can make deckers double deckers they can even be triple deckers arrange them well there is a way how they are done uh, for safety reasons uh, so you have to arrange them well so that you can put those kids uh, children maybe another one can sleep blow up like that then you have to arrange those rooms whereby if someone wakes up if one child wakes up you have to transfer that child to another room so that they don't awake the others so here you have to be careful with these little ones because you know how they behave so they need uh, extra care you have to be watchful you have to watch them so you'll need uh, those beds they can be triple beds i don't know how they call them uh, double deckers like that arrange them then uh, what else you need here you'll need those mini mattresses they don't need these big mattresses these are young children guys so all these ones they don't cost a lot of money as such uh, comparing a big mattress to a mini mattress for a children they cannot be of the same price so here there is a go ahead so you can plan for that one then uh, another thing here uh which you have to plan for is uh uh you have to get a kettle uh, it can be a heater anything that you can use to prepare their drinks uh very fast you need to be having such things have to be having a kettle or a heater so that this uh, these children must are uh, from zero years uh maybe to three years most of them so these ones that they don't even need a lot of food as such they just need a lot of drinking this one can be milk uh you can be having good milk uh, yes keep for them some milk maybe soya porridge things like that so you have to be ready to cook these things because they will need that uh they will need that one 
to sustain them at that place so another thing here you'll need uh, uh, you'll also need uh, plates for kids uh, these are decorated plates for kids they have cartoons on them uh, then uh, you can get this small plastic chair for children they are very good they look good yes very small chairs plastic ones you can get different colors maybe yellow black orange things like that you know how kids are attracted to those things so make sure you arrange for uh, you arrange those things for them because they really need them get those plastic chairs which looks good uh, then another thing which you can do here you can get for them toys yes make sure you get more 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 than enough toys don't buy two don't buy three buy more because these toys are not all that expensive you buy like you can buy in sockets uh don't buy don't buy one just buy in sockets buy plenty because every child uh, every child needs his or her own toys because you know how they behave most of the times they cry for those toys so in case another one sees a toy she or she will run to the other toys so you have to be having extra so that you can at least give them the things to make them comfortable more happy so that they can stay in the place like that so you'll need those toys then another thing here uh, you can also get a good flat screen uh, get some TVs so that you can play cartoons for them. You can tune, uh, you can tune for them so that they can watch. Uh, if you have those ones around three, going beyond maybe three uh, to five years, but there it's a lot because most of the times those ones are in real schools. Yeah, unless holiday time, but most of the times they are at school. So you have to be having a TV also. You have to plan for that one also. So. Those are some of the things which you must be having in your in your room, in the house, that house, that particular house you've planned for them. Those are some of the things you must be having there. Then another thing for safety reasons, you have to make sure mm, you arrange the place very well, uh, remove sharp corners, things like that, which can hit the children. Yeah. So you have to be you have to make sure safety first because this one you are dealing with a delicate matter these are children they are children so you have to plan for all those ones safety first for these young ones so another thing guys here uh, which we have to discuss is uh, uh just know the main reason for these children uh, the main reason uh, they are brought here is to be looked after Sorry about that, guys. So we are still discussing the main reason. Uh, the main reason you are opening up this uh, daycare should be to look after the kids, uh, the children very well, so that at least you can get more clients, and to make sure their safety is the best. So most uh, most things here which are needed for these kids to keep them, uh, these children to keep them around. It's only few. There are few things. They need food and they don't eat a lot. And they need to play. They need food, playing and rest that sleep. So you have to make sure you get all these things for the kids. Uh, make sure you've prepared a good place where they can sleep. Make sure you can make for them something to eat. Either eating or drinking. Then they can also get rest. Then after, look after their security. So this means... You have also to cater for internal security within your premises and also external uh, uh, and also security externally. That means beyond your gate. So you have to make sure you have a good place. Let it either be fenced or any way you can handle it to make sure no child runs out from that place and gets lost. So you have to consider all those things. So. Make sure your security is tight. Look after your security. Plan for it. Yeah, if it means putting someone at the gate who can also receive the uh, receive these children, uh, or who can also receive them when they are going outside, checking them out, things like that, for for easy monitoring so that no one loses track. Because you know this one is on. Uh, there is uh, these things whereby children can even be abducted or taken away things like that so you have to make sure your security is tight you have to make sure you 
work on all those ones because these ones are the most important thing when you're running a daycare so if you can also manage to install uh, a surveillance camera around uh, that's the cctv tv uh, sorry the cctv then well and fine so that you can monitor well the movements and everything all the activities going on so that one will also help you to manage your security things like that so another thing here you have to consider is still uh, it, it is also with safety cleanliness you have to be clean the place must be clean yeah you know these uh these creatures these innocent young souls they don't know a lot so a lot will happen vomiting uh poo poo things like that so you have to make sure you get someone around who can be dedicated to do the cleaning so the place must be clean so that these children their food and everything doesn't get contaminated yeah because these are the kind of people who can fall sick easily so you have to consider all these ones you can also include them in your plan so now we are still discussing info about the daycare business if you want to start a daycare business or you want to start a, a babysitting business in any place where you are as long as you have more people around then this is the kind of business you have to think of and these are some of the things you have to put in consideration before starting or you have to mind about when you're starting a daycare business so we shall continue uh, with the cleanliness and also you have to make sure the place is cleaned very well uh, try to make sure there are no sharp objects around uh, the place should be worked upon very well make sure you have a renovate renovated walls things like that things which uh, won't cause any injury or things like that to these young souls uh, to these young children so another thing here you have to think about is hotline hospital numbers you have to be in contact with a doctor you know some parents may leave you with a child and go for work and some parents you might call them and they cannot respond so sometimes you need to act fast a child may a child might get an emergency whereby you don't need to re uh, you don't need to wait for the parents so where it needs you to act fast so for all those ones those emergencies you have to be with a number for a doctor or someone who can attend to a child very fast so you have to be having all those connections all those contacts just in case of an emergency in case of anything that has happened around you can be uh, you can be able to reach out to either a doctor or any healthy care person who can be of help at that particular moment or time so you have also to consider that one so another thing guys here uh, when you're starting a daycare center i know it's not a school but here you are still entitled to teach you have to teach these children because they are very young you have to teach them how to sit properly things like that they know uh, they should know how to do those ones you also have to teach them how to speak how to talk and some little training uh, you can also yeah you can also teach them how to use toilets things like that so all these ones you'll be doing them under daycare so all these ones will be part of your business yes so make sure you have to to do all those things so that's where it comes in are you ready to start this kind of business are you willing to sacrifice your time for all these because this one is a sacrifice yes this one is a sacrifice you know when you need something you have to sacrifice for it just have to invest in it so that you can be able to earn from it so guys i think that's it of uh, i think that's it for all today guys yes i think you've picked something from this video yeah we've been discussing about the daycare business if you want to start up uh, a daycare business where you can be uh, having little young ones so that you can make some money from this kind of business so this one is a good to start business whereby it doesn't need a lot of cash as such but it's a good picking business and it can make you a lot of money as we've discussed in summary these children don't need a lot they just need a uh, simple food uh, where to sleep 
and security that's all you are looking after someone's children so you'll find uh, you'll find you'll be able to find parents who work maybe like night shifts others work day shifts and uh, they cannot go with children at work so you'll be the one to take care of those ones so you'll be like a saver a life saver for them because you'll be helping them to do that kind of work of babysitting and other activities so this business also comes inclusive with uh, the laundry yeah some some parents are too busy even to wash for them so others will carry laundry with them so when they reach so when they are dropping kids at school they will also drop their laundry things like that so you will be also handling the washing and other things so this is just something you can think about guys yes if you had that idea you can go with it it's a nice idea yeah i was going through some businesses uh, i had some friend of mine yeah he was asking about the loan uh, he was asking about the sitting business uh, babysitting that's the daycare business he was trying to inquire things like that it's like how can i do it what is it all what does it all need yeah so these are some of the things guys eric big ups hope you've enjoyed this video i'll make sure to share a link with you in your inbox at least so that mm, i know i know this information you also needed it a lot so these are some of the things guys yeah don't fear to start if you have some amount of money go for them go for them i'm going again uh, i'll be making a video again about how to make some money if you don't have uh, capital yes i know guys sometimes they can ask him they can ask you a question like what is stopping you from starting up most of the people say no capital so i have a video for you guys coming uh which needs no capital but you'll be able to make some money so i'll be making that video so i had promised to make a video on passports guys uh, i was discouraged a lot by youtube i made the video i prepared it very well so i had to upload it so those guys turned it down yeah yeah they turned it down they had to take it down i tried to appeal they couldn't accept because they are saying there is uh, i was violating some uh youtube policies but in reality there was nothing so i had no option just to leave that video guys i'll just go with suggestions that's all so that's it guys in case you have any question please always leave it in the comment section down below i'll be happy and i'm always happy to engage you guys guys we have numbers on this channel guys but you're not watching the videos the way i'm seeing yeah because uh, we are almost 500 subscribers but you upload a video and you find you have only 20 23 views so it doesn't make sense guys yeah, yeah. it doesn't make sense so if you're not willing to watch the videos don't bother to subscribe guys because it doesn't make sense uh, yeah, yeah sometimes we don't need numbers yeah, yeah yeah we don't need numbers like seriously sometimes fine we are happy to see the channel is growing but let's grow together guys let's support each other let's support each other yeah mm. it doesn't make sense just subscribe yeah if you don't like something yeah, yeah. you rather not hide yourself just ignore it things are not good for you just leave it yeah i'm not here to force anyone guys yeah mm. uh, this is in, this is general information for everyone i know i'm not perfect i know i'm not all that good uh, at giving this content things like that but yes if you've managed to pick something i know not all videos can be the same because it's always a process from one video to another like that we keep improving yeah i know things are not good sometimes they are not all that perfect but at least yeah if someone uploads a video try to check the content don't ignore yeah yeah don't ignore because these things we prepare them for you we make this research for you yes so you are the beneficiary so if you're not watching then that means there is no need to be on this channel guys there is nothing no need yeah so let's upload videos guys let's watch them yeah let's make sure we watch don't stop on uh, don't stop on subscribing because just subscribing won't 
change anything, won't help anything. Because I know some information is very good here. Guys, you can use it. Guys, you can use this information. It can be beneficial for you. So, guys, always try. Yeah, if you see that notification, tap on it. Just watch. Watch and see. Even if it doesn't concern you, you might be having friends who need this kind of information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharing is caring. Yeah, this one I'll keep saying it every day. So, always try your best. Let's support each other, guys. I don't want to take more of your time. Uh, allow me to end this video from here, guys. Thank you for uh, thank you from the beginning up to this minute. I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for your resources you're using, your data, your time and everything. I just have no way I can pay you if you manage to watch to this, uh, to this minute of the video. I just only want to say thank you so much and so grateful for you to be watching these videos. I'll just leave you for now, guys. Bye. See you in the next video. I promise I'll be bringing more content. I know I've been relaxed a bit for some weeks. Yeah, I've been having some uh, things I'm working upon so that's why I wasn't posting like often yeah but for these coming weeks I promise I'll be cooking something for you I'll be preparing something for you just drop it here for you so that at least we can watch and stay up to date guys so peace love you bye guys